Hey there, Camp Catch a Rainbow, and welcome to Friday, our last day of crafting in the art tent. Today, we are going to be working with the coffee filters, and these are based on the works of Dale Chihuly, and I will post some links. They're really better viewed upside down. But, so for your art craft today, you're going to need washable markers, coffee filters, your nine by 12 black piece of paper, uh, all from your kit, and then from home, I recommend a rag towel, um, one that your mom or dad doesn't mind getting color on it. Um, it is washable marker, so it will come out, um, but sometimes it just doesn't, so just make sure it's an old towel that you don't care about. And then you're gonna need some glasses. Again, make sure they're glasses that maybe your mom and don't care about if some color gets on them. I tried it with these glasses and I was able to wash the color that got on them right off, but just again, make sure that mom and dad are okay with it before you do it. I am only going to do three uh, coffee filters today. You may do more. Um, I'm just doing that in the sake of time. And um, so yeah, so let's get started. So get out your coffee filters and your washable markers. It's very important that you use washable markers with this. Oh, I forgot to mention, you need a spray bottle filled with some water as well. Um, make sure you're not using Sharpies. Sharpies will not work on this craft. They have to be the washable markers. And I do believe there were some Crayola washable markers in your activity kit. So you're gonna wanna get those out. Okay, so we've got our coffee filters and I am going to get out three. You have more in your activity kit because um, you're gonna have a little bit more time, but I thought in the sake of time, I would just do three. So I'm gonna set two of these aside and I'm gonna get one out and I am going to flatten it. Now, when we're coloring our coffee filters, we again wanna think about those complementary colors that are gonna blend. So we don't wanna make um, brown when we're, um, spraying this with water. So what's gonna happen is after we color this in, we will spray it and the water is gonna spread out and kind of run together. And then when we set them on the cups to dry, it's gonna drip down and the water, the colors will kind of blend together. So if you're looking for some inspiration, you can go to the link and look at some pictures of Dale Chihuly's art. And he does some really beautiful glass um, sculptures that hang from ceilings to look for some examples. So I do recommend getting a scrap piece of paper and putting that underneath your um, coffee filter just so that you can color with your marker and not have to worry about it. So I am going to color the center of my bark, mar, uh, coffee filter, this really dark purple. And I'm just gonna fill it all in as best as I can. And it doesn't have to be perfect because again, we're gonna spray it and it's gonna spread. I'm gonna leave a little bit of white and then I'm gonna take this light purple. I have no idea how this is gonna look, but I'm interested. And I'm gonna color around. I do find it easier to just turn my whole paper instead of the coffee filter. Now, you're probably gonna get marker all over your hand as you're sitting here coloring. And you know what, that's okay, it's washable. It will come off. I want this ring here to be a little um, wider, so I'm going to go around it again and fill that in. And then I think for my last color, I'm gonna try some yellow. I'm feeling like the yellow might work. Who knows, it might not. So then I'm gonna take some yellow and I'm gonna color that in around the edge. I just think that yellow looks so pretty around the edge. And then I'm gonna go all the way around. Again, coloring it as thick as you want. And you know, you can look at that website and come up with some inspiration and try and recreate one of his works of art, or you can create your own. I'm going rogue and creating my own. All right, so I'm happy with how that turned out. So I am going to set that aside and color my other two in. Okay, 
as you can see, I am all done coloring. I colored this one all blue and I colored it all in. These two I colored a little differently and left um, some white space because I wanted to see what that looked like. So now what we're going to do is we're going to remove that white sheet and we're going to get our towel and we're going to open it up. So I just have a little hand towel. It's an old rag towel for me. And you want to spray these in different spots because you don't want the colors to blend together. So I'm going to put my blue one over here and then I'm going to take my water bottle and I'm just going to get it wet. And I'm going to let it sit there for a minute and then I'm going to do the same thing with the other two. Once they've got all their colors, then we're going to take our glasses and we're going to turn them upside down and we're going to set them to dry. You want to wipe your hands off in between because again, we don't want the colors to mix. And then we will leave these and when they're dry, we will come back and finish the craft. If you are outside and it's a beautiful sunny day, then they will dry a little faster. So set them to dry and... Okay, it looks like my coffee filter, <coughs> excuse me, my coffee filters are dry. And when you take them off, they hold that bottom. So um, that is really cool. If you have liquid starch at home, you can spray them with liquid starch once they're dry and then let them dry again. But they really don't need it. They really do kind of hold that shape. Now, from here, you're going to take your glue stick and put a little bit of glue on the bottom and then put it on your black paper to create your sculpture. So however you want it to look, oh, my blue one wasn't quite dry yet. So I am going to leave that one to dry a little bit more. Um, so then you're going to glue these on and create your sculpture. If you don't want to glue these on, you don't have to. You can lay them flat to dry. They make beautiful window. Um, decorations like sun catchers. Um, the sun really just kind of comes through those. I, however, am going to glue mine on and when my blue one dries, I will add that to this as well. So that is our artwork for today. I can't wait to see what you all create. Go on Flipgrid and share your videos or your pictures of your artwork with us. Remember, these are really best viewed from upside down. So kind of hang these on your ceiling and take a picture that way and we'll really get the feel for them. I can't wait to see what you create. Thank you so much for crafting with me during this week. I had an absolute blast with you and I hope you had as much fun as I did. See you next year. Bye.